Look at all this wallpaper. Welcome back, my fellow, to begin Stew Oxygen Not Included. So today, we're going to be blasting off into space, or at least that's the idea. What I've been working on inside of here is my own little uh, space fire module right there. Here's what I've got going on here. And yes, I have made this out of a, a blueprint. Mm, boom! Look at, look at how easy that is. Now that I've already got it set up here. Let me explain uh, what all's involved here. So if I go over to my other rocket here... You can see that, let's start in the top right. This is the bedroom. So right up here, we've got an actually four tiles tall and actually plus two morale here. Ooh, with a little buddy bud, which gives off some nice floral scent right there. Very nice. It should kind of keep the duplicates happy if they have a, a higher morale. Uh, there's a spot for a little mess table over here. That's pretty nice. So you can actually eat. We do have a refrigerator here. And inside of there, I am storing up grub fruit. So that's food. That's how I'm keeping my food. Uh, grub fruit actually goes bad very, very slowly when you refrigerate it. And what I'm doing here, just to kind of keep that from mm, consuming too much power, since it does consume 120 watts, you can see it over here, is I'm actually switching between two different setups here. So we've got where I'm powering the refrigerator, then I'm powering my other equipment. So that is just running off of a time sensor here, so I can actually just flick it on and off. I haven't really figured out exactly what numbers I need, but that's how I keep from overloading my circuits, because I'm just running this off of solar panels uh, on this rocket right back here. So these guys right there. Boop. Now just to cover up this ugly background here, let's go ahead and just give it some more background. Real quick here. All right, moving down here into the bottom left, you can see I have an Atmosuit dock. And this is actually just set up so that you can just undock the suit and put a duplicate inside of there. Uh, as far as the oxygen system, I actually have oxygen that flows from the gas tank on this system here, and if it is oxygen, it actually will move out into, you know, it, it, into the actual module itself or go into the spacesuit. However, if it's not that, or if we suck up the wrong type of gas, you can see that carbon dioxide actually just gets filtered out here. So that is actually pulling oxygen from the gas cargo canister, which, by the way, I am filling up via the this tube right here. So that is where my oxygen is going in. I can actually feed all of my different rockets this way. So as long as I have a gas cargo canister like this, I can go ahead and fill up the modules that way. Moving on to the bottom right, you can see that I have a hand sanitizer and just a little outhouse here. And that gives me the room of, <laughs> click on, there we go, the latrine right there. The hand sanitizer takes up a little less space, so I figured that's probably a good way to go. Here. Oh, and then I have a little storage box right up here. This is for like, you know, your polluted dirt and whatnot that comes off the outhouse. I might put a door in there so you can actually kind of open it and unload it if you really wanted to, but essentially just put it on the conveyor loader and ship it in there. I could just leave it on the ground, but I don't know. Figured that's also a pretty good way to store some extra stuff if I want to be able to repair iron or anything like that. As this thing does seem to, every once in a while, pull in something that isn't oxygen. Which shouldn't happen because that should not signal unless it is oxygen. Oh, I see. It backed up. All right. Now to power up my rockets. Uh, that's what I'm doing right here. We got Red Bull generators. I figured I might as well just go with those because that's the normal way to do it. <laughs> so what I've got here is some Radbolt reflectors. These will shoot down to this one and that one. I might even go a little bit further over here. I might actually just move this rocket over there just to kind of make it not so far because if I want to go all the way over here, man, do I got to go all the way up there. <laughs> but um, anyhow, that's what's going on there. So the alternative to this might be to take some of these shine bugs here and actually just move that shine bug reactor all the way up here. Although then it is gonna be within striking range of these rockets as far as their hot gases are concerned. So that might not be the best option. Those little critters might get cooked. All right, so I wanna go ahead and reconfigure this rocket here. I actually uh, learned a neat trick from the comment section. If I go and I say swap this module for something different, let's say a solar panel, and then I cancel that, it automatically deconstructs. So that's a, a very quick way to deconstruct things on a rocket. Let me go ahead and change this to just the basic nose cone. That's actually what I need there, so that's okay. And what I want to add to this should be the telescope. Hmm, but we don't have enough to get there, so let's see here. I think I need to 
swap this one out, make a little bit more room. So I'll build that, and then I'll say cancel build. There we go, and it goes away. All right, so there we go. That's kind of an awkward looking rocket. But let me go ahead and just uh, fill that with oxygen. We can go ahead and actually put quite a bit in there. Eh, why not? 3,600 kilograms. And then we'll work on the inside of this. So, the uh, first thing I'm going to do is just deconstruct that. I don't need that. Let's see if I can reuse my oxygen system. <laughs> not, not much of it, but hey, let's see what fits there. Oh boy. Well, there's some stuff there. Okay. Nope, I don't think I'm going to build any of that. Okay, gas output. Okay, so there's an outhouse. That'll be good. Obviously, we probably need a little bit of a place to sleep. Probably just slap the cot up there. Yeah, let's do that. We'll put that one right there and a gas intake right here. Okay, so I'll put the food right there. Let's see here. We need power as well. So power outlet. That could be this one. And that will run the output, which will also run the refrigerator. Now, I gotta deal with the carbon dioxide here. So let's take a look at, I think I might have a plant that can do that. If not, I'll have to put in a sensor and a pump right here and maybe do the gas input sort of thing. Ah. Oh. I don't have any oxyfern seeds, so nope, that's not going to work. I'm going to have to filter it. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and just do a gas element sensor. And if that works, then I'll go ahead and run a mini gas pump here. We'll also go ahead and turn this refrigerator off. So if that flips on over to true, then that will be not, which means this power will shut off. That way I don't overload the circuit. Oop, I need to rework some things here. Let's always on, because I need a way to bring in ox. So is that one, but only the refrigerator can be turned off. Okay, got it. Joshua, hey, 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 hey. Don't be filling this with your poop, man, before we're ready to go. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. I wonder if he relieved himself there. That just went out of order before he was done. Hmm? Using outhouses without using outhouses? Josh, where are you heading? I want to know. Might have found a way to cheat the system. Huh. No, it didn't look like he went to use the bathroom. He just went and stole food from the other rocket. Josh, what is this dude? Now you're dropping food on the ground. Aw, oh, come on, man. Way too many dupes up in here. Uh, somebody asked me why didn't I actually just pressurize this whole thing. Uh, the reason is some of the stuff that's in here is actually incredibly hot. Uh, and therefore, I don't want to actually have that start to heat everything up and burn my dupes. But I, it has crossed my mind. I could do it with little bridges here, each down here and have them jump across. All right, so now that I'm moving oxygen into space quite a bit faster, I'm going to need a much bigger supply of oxygen up there. So what I'm gonna do is head on over here to my filtering system. I'm actually gonna go ahead and kick out oxygen from this tank over here. So what this is going to do is actually bring in oxygen here to store it, but this should allow me to have a continuous source of oxygen running up to my rockets up there. So whenever they land, they can resupply. So over here, yes, there's oxygen. Draining and filling and all that good stuff. Ha, that's neat. Ah, dupes, I want you to go in here, not breathe right there. These dupes, these dupes. <laughs> Look, they stole all of the Atmosu docks. <clears throat> no more dupes. You're gonna go and use the Atmosu docks. There you go. I put this here for a reason, dupes. Look at them. Not even a single. No, no one has it. <sighs> Dropping stuff on the ground. I thought you. Look at all this. By the way, I love the patch note that now allows us to build heavy watt wires behind solar panels without doing all the maneuvering here. At this point, I'm just convinced that my entire life is one big patch note, or at least all my entire existence of oxygen not included. There sure has been a few. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and make some quick changes here. If I <laughs> keep doing this and then can't... Oh yeah, here we go. This is, this is how you change it. 
No, no, no. Click that, click that. It's kind of awkward, but whatever. Maximum cheese. That's still gonna take a while. Anyway, but look at what I'm doing here. Solar panels, you can just slap them down. Perfect, just like this. And then, you come in here with the big heavy watt wires. <laughs> Boom, just like that. All that power. Priority level nine on the whole thing. Nice. All right, now let me go ahead and just deconstruct this. Build, cancel. 500 clicks later, and I've made it through one rocket. There we go. Nice. All right, so now I've got power running all the way over here. Mm, but now, now that it's so easy to wire things up, I might actually just go ahead and reuse this battery thing, plus all that wire over here, and connect all of the grid together. The one thing I am doing that's a little bit different is that in this area right here, I'm actually putting in tungsten and steel. So these three right here should be tungsten, then steel. Um, just kind of make sure that it doesn't get too hot. So those are pretty expensive wires. But so long as they don't actually melt, I think it's money well spent. I wouldn't necessarily call it money, but you know what I mean. Material well spent. It's tungsten. What else is it used for? Let's go ahead and process up a little bit more of it. Oh yeah, we got plenty. All right, so let's get this stuff done, dupes. Priority level, please. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, so now to get the rad bolt system up and running, make sure that it's pointed at the right direction. Let's just go ahead and map that out. This is gonna travel just like so. I'm not actually gonna build these wires, I just need a way to actually trace to make sure that I'm aiming at the right spot. <laughs> Got it. And I'm guessing this this one all the way up here, that reflector is probably gonna lose a lot of its power to, by the time it's all the way over here. Oh well. There might be a way. Oh yeah, with automation. Allow incoming rad bolts, ignore them. Hmm. I might be able to reflect them back down to all focus on the first rocket or the second rocket or the third rocket. You know, do some interesting like rad bolt ping pong up here. How's that radiation looking? Not much. <laughs> it's just nothing compared to the, you know, the shine bugs. Yeah, 1,500 rads or whatever it is. All right. So, right, let me go ahead and get rid of all this nuclear waste down here. Should be able to just connect it. Yeah, there we go. I don't need that down there. Hopefully that is highly radioactive. Oh yeah, it looks like it is. And that will pump all the way up here, which will then allow these things to run. Lag. Which means this thing here, wow, that can hold 4,800, holy cow. Who's on fire? Man, what's even hot down here? Nothing. Nothing's hot. What are you doing over here, dudes? What do you... You think this is a good idea? Somebody deliver some suits for these dumb dupes. Man, seriously. Just dunk yourself in nuclear waste. <laughs> With absolutely no protection. Why not? Now who's trapped? Emily, why are you trapped down here? <laughs> ah, jeez. No, no, stop. I keep saying cancel, deliver more Atmosu docks, but for some odd reason they keep doing it. Or something. I don't know. At this point... Ah! <laughs> I know what it is. There's tungsten down here that they're trying to get to. But it's just it's just not really working out. Somebody deliver some suits up here. <laughs> they come on over here, they get cooked, and then they run out. No! Stop doing it, dupes! Stop doing this! What are you doing? Oh, no! Lelu! Oh, you only got that far. There you go. I know, it's not as good, but at least you have a suit now. See, doesn't that make sense? And then, what, you run on over here. Right. Oh, no, this is... This is next level. Oh, jeez. It's a lot of crispy, irradiated dupes right there. Well, the cots are full tonight. <sighs> Ooh, there we go. Red bolt flying all the way over there. Oh, see, it doesn't even make it. Oh my gosh. A hundred of them are lost by the time it gets over here. That's that's not going to work. I might have to play a dangerous game with these rad bolts and just bounce them right over here like this. Boop. Last time I tried to do that, though, 
It didn't seem to want to go in this one or go in that one as intended. But this one here, this is only it's run twice. I only got 34 of 200. Though I suppose I could automate the reflector here and then actually just bounce it over as need be. That might be one way to get around what might be a potential problem. But I also should just be able to go on over here, down, and go into whatever engine it comes across first. I'm just wondering how do I go to one or the other faster. All right, let's figure out the actual range I have going on here. So I've got four Radbolt generators. In total, this is doing about 200 Radbolts per cycle. Uh, each one of these engines will consume 200 Radbolts per tile, and the rockets will travel about two tiles per cycle. So this here is gener generating one tile per cycle right now, so it actually can't keep up with all these rockets, despite me having four of them. Hmm. So, it looks like I'm going to have to get a little bit more serious with this. We'll go up a little bit higher. I'll put in just a little bit more wallpaper here so that it doesn't drain out the back when I go to dump that in. Mm, and we'll put that right up here. There we go. So this will allow it to kind of go in, but also allow the extra nuclear waste to overflow. Uh, and I guess I'll put in another row of Radvolt generators here. Man. Seems like overkill. Gonna need a lot more power. <laughs> that is a ton of Radville generators. Um, well, that ought to power this thing up fairly quickly if it actually does run. Oh, man. I'm producing as much power as I can right now trying to keep up with all of this. That's a lot of Radvolt right there. Come on now. Whoops. What went yellow? Oh, I see. <laughs> so I'm tying both of my power systems together here. And, but in the meantime, they're actually getting nuked. So, yeah, there's that. Quick, upgrade them all, dupes. Not a big fan of putting my battery all the way down here. You know, just when you see what happens if one of these wires breaks, then I my whole system wouldn't have any batteries. But, yeah. of course, I could put more solar panel over here. At this point, I have lots of solar panel. All of this is solar panel. All of that is solar panel. Why isn't this... What's going on here? Ah, I see. You noticed I was looking at you and decided to produce some more power. I got it. I should really actually stagger this a little bit so I get a little bit more power out of it. One would think with this many solar power panels I'd be fine. <laughs> As it turns out, no. Not even that with the whole research reactor. <laughs> And those being tuned up. Do you think the Radbolt generators take enough power? Holy moly. Shine bugs, it might be your turn. All right, let's see if I can get one of these rockets up and running. So all I need inside of here is a little bit of food. What do we got in this side of there? Oh, we got a little group fruit. I'm going for that or pickled meal. Either of those would be good. Which it looks like I do have enough for that. So I should have some range here as well. Let's see, how much range do I have? If I click on the rocket, it should tell me here. Remaining range, six tiles. Okay, so that's not bad. Oh yeah, there we go. Good deal. That'll be enough to go out here and scan a little bit. So one, two, three, and then come on back. Oh, oh, oh look at that. Just waiting for crew to show up. Somebody? Anybody, just need one dupe. Aha! Striker, you're the one. All right, Striker, it looks like you're ready for a, a rocket flight. What do you got there? Some light wounds, soggy feet, and intensely bright. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Preparations complete. Ooh, yeah! My first rocket is the nuclear rocket. Why do you would? Who would? Lerda, what are you doing? This is not where you want to be, Lerda. These dupes. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. You could have just. And? Hey, that works. Alright. Alright, Striker. You can go ahead and enable your poops. Right there. You should be good to go for a little while. Oh, and you're already inside of an Atmo suit, so you didn't hang your suit up. Technically. 
because of this you don't need oxygen in this environment, but uh, let's actually test it to see if it works the way as intended, right? So should be able to filter oxygen, not necessarily do the cheaty system here. I know you don't have a lot going on here. Hopefully you brought an audiobook or something. Oh, hang on, hang on. You've got 25 kilograms of uh, wallpaper right there. There you go. That'll occupy your time. Just do one of those per cycle. You'll be fine. Okay, so I didn't actually figure this out perfectly. You can see how the gas can actually flow back either way here. Which is fine. Actually, you've got plenty of stuff to work with here. We can go ahead and deconstruct this. Um, because the, this gas doesn't really need to be in an insulated gas pipe. See, you've got all... You can just rebuild the rocket while you're in it. It's for... Yeah. No problem. There. That should work a little better. And who knows? You might even get a little bit of wallpaper out of this. All right. How much power am I actually using and consuming here? So previous cycle, power generated, 7,300 kilojoules. Power removed, even more than that. Oh, boy. And the Radbolt generator is the biggest consumer of all that. Although the aqua tuner is actually quite surprisingly high as well. So um, gas pumps are pretty high, transit tubes. Well, they're actually looking cheap all of a sudden. All right, so let's take a look at this other rocket over here. You can see that I'm just about ready to start launching this thing. It should have, yeah, it's got food inside of it, hand sanitizer, real nice. Everything's ready to go. Uh, inside of the gas tank, though, I think we have a bit of a mix here. We've got chlorine, oxygen, a little bit of carbon dioxide. So what I want to be able to do is actually kick that stuff out of here. So if I click all, and then I say don't want oxygen, then anything that is not that should get kicked out of those, that container right there. Ha! All right, perfect. So this thing, the pump that was picking up inside of the module here, throwing it inside of the tank, was able to eject it. Awesome. All right, let's take a look at the star map here real quick and check in on this. We have 103 kilograms, so it's about time to almost start heading back. This thing should be scanning. Yeah, no? It is filtering, so that's cool. I wonder if you need a skill that allows that to run. Oh, but as it turns out, Stryker can't even learn astronomy. What a good rocket pilot. At, le at least you tried, bud. You did make it all the way out here. It does say automatically, but I'm not sure it's completely automatic. All right, you're just about back, bud. There we go. Welcome back. See, look at that. Didn't even use that many, uh, that much nuclear stuff. Look at the radiation coming off of that. Woo. Now, I can actually condense down this radioactive contaminants and, and pump it over here if I really wanted to. It's also pretty hot, too, so something to keep in mind. All right. I need to change crew here. Lerda, you're going to have to be the pilot. Oh, and by the way, the gas system here should be working as intended. It should be bringing in... Oxygen, and I'm guessing carbon dioxide has already flown out. Ha! That actually worked. Lerda is over here preparing for a space flight. We just gotta do a little bit of skill scrubbing here before we send her off into space. Don't want her destroying everything while she's up there. I mean, stress is nice, but... Mm, yeah. You know. Wow, look at what finally stopped sweeping. Oh, these auto sweepers right here. They managed to clean all of that up. Okay, there you go. Rocketry, perfect. It only requires a morale of 10. You should be just fine there. Lerda. All right, so let's go ahead and set the destination all the way out there again. Make sure we have enough fuel. <laughs> Remaining range, four tiles. Nope, not enough. But this other rocket looks like it might have enough. Uh, the crew that I have for this one is going to be Stryker. He should be able to actually run this thing, the drill cone. We're going to go ahead and send that. It's going to go out to this little cluster here, and we're just going to, you know, it's got a... Well, there's nothing there. Maybe an artifact? I just kind of want to... <laughs> go pick up an artifact, please. Let's go ahead and begin the launch sequence and fire them off. Cool. Striker, dude, you're eating on the floor. Are you kidding me? 
you could <laughs> I put this mess table here for you. These dupes, I don't uh, what do you Striker. Oh man, you're making a mess. Dude, all you do you could just come on over here and re enable your hand sanitizer. Oh no. Oh no. Now we got polluted water on the ground. Gross. Yeah, so my oxygen system definitely not working out. Uh, I just kept sending carbon dioxide to the to the one thing that's supposed to fill up the suit that saves your life. You know, not really working as intended there. But, I've got a plan B. I think Stryker's job here is just to go into every rocket and rebuild the oxygen system until that actually works as intended. The normal things you do. Yeah. Alright, Lurt is now out in space. Flying around. Okay. So that's doing, she's doing her job out there. Technically, you can unequip the suit, which would allow you to breathe, so you're not suffocating the whole time. Although, that does make it a little bit easier. Oh, consumables. You actually need to be able to eat that stuff, don't you? Which you can. You're just choosing not to. Okay. Alright. Collected. Okay, good. So we did get the artifact. Nice. Let's go ahead and change that destination, bring it back. Very cool. So now, that... Mission is already done. Now, hopefully, Lerda over here will actually do something with the scanner thing. And reveal a various spot. I, I would expect that to actually be... To have a little s something on it, though. Kind of wonder what's going on there. Oh, I see. This is the old tooltip. Alright, so I figured out how the cardiographic module thingamajig works. <laughs> uh, essentially, what you gotta do is... You gotta take the rocket and actually travel over the tiles. Uh, so it doesn't work like anything we've dealt with before. Yeah. Mm hmm. Anyhow, that's what's up. And it seems like my gas system managed to. managed to jam up. What a pain in the butt. Alright. So now I need to do a little bit of plumbing, it seems. There we go. We'll empty out the carbon dioxide. See, now it's working as intended. It, it must have just filled up the container, which... Yeah, well, all right. Now I know. All right, looks like I got this working as intended, so that's good. Let me go ahead and run on over to my other rocket that I've yet to complete here. So let's go ahead and just use that blueprint. And I should be able to just paste it over there, updating everything beneath it. Hey, look who's back. And we have a... And we got ourselves a new artifact. Look at that. Cool. Let's go ahead and remove that. Plop. All right, so let's go ahead and put our very first artifact on display. Keep scrolling. <laughs> Keep, there it is. And there we have it. A teeny tiny little small obelisk. Nice. Decor overview, oh yeah. Not really, not really worth it. <laughs> But hey, let's see what else worked here. How's the oxygen situation? Looks like we're bringing in more oxygen. That's good. Let's take a look at the Radbolt system. Okay, what if I say 1,000 is the max? Then it skipped past it and went into the next rocket. All right. So that means I can limit the range of this rocket to be... Uh, give me the range. There it is, 5. I think I might want to go a little further with this one, but... That's how I can kind of control this. Nice. Uh, by the way, Lerda. Lerda, what are you doing? Oh no, Lerda! You don't look too happy up here. Why is this progress bar so low, Lerda? Make it look like you're about to suffocate. <laughs> how much range do we have left? Remaining range three? How did we go from five to three? I don't know, but I hope you can make it back. Let's see here. How do I see what you have on board? Oh, yeah, you've got plenty of oxygen. You're fine. <laughs> you just... Four, two, three. I think you're okay. Why is that so high? Oh, no! Derpy dupe! Apparently, when this thing is full, it's given off a mother load of radiation. <laughs> What's up with that? You're telling me I can fill up a rocket and then use that rocket to fill up other rockets. Is that what's going on here? I mean, if that's the case, then that's gonna make this thing real easy. 
I just put a little sensor next to it whenever it's super high. Start shooting rad bolts around. Okay, if that is the deal, then I could actually go ahead and automate this. I could just use this as like a kicker to get things up and running. But if this over here is, you know, high enough, then I could possibly just use what I already have. Save myself a bunch of power. So I'll make that out of obsidian so that it's capable of handling the heat. Plus, I mean, if we're going to go all out. Here. Tungsten wires. All right, let's take a look. This thing is now collecting 660 rad bolts per cycle. So I'll just have it shoot to the right, geez. Which means that that's going to make this even more hazardous. It's a self-filling rocket. <laughs> but the radiation isn't going up. For some odd reason, it's just, it must have been because it landed with a bunch of stuff in it. Well, I don't know. Clearly though, there's definitely some cheese here. We're gonna, we're gonna exploit this. Mm. Radiation sensor made of tungsten. Power shut off made of steel. Automation made of tungsten. Only enabled if it's above a certain amount. Oh, yes. Get her done, dupes. We'll only let this run if it's above, eh, let's say, 600 grads. There we go. That enables it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and hey, guess what? We have another rocket coming back right now. Lerda finally made it back. Oh, no. And Lerda's brought a bunch of radiation as well. Oh. <laughs> well, this is now 1,200 reds. Meanwhile, Lerda's running around with no suit on. <laughs> And pissed 97 <laughs> percent oh boy I'm glad to see that you're thoroughly stressed Lerda things were getting a little boring there please go beat your head on a wall or something nope right to the massage table so that whole trip you went out <laughs> you you made it one tile further than any dupe has ever gone before Lerda small steps Meanwhile, though, we are just holy moly. Just waiting for a dupe to show up here. There we go. Striker showed up. Perfect. Oh, Meep, you want to get in on the action too? Why not? There we go. Two dupes. I did say launch, didn't I? Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Joshua, you're in the wrong spot, bud. <laughs> okay, so that took all the radiation with it. Cool. Good job, dupes. Way to be uh, proficient about this. Let's go ahead and land right on back down here. And what I want to see is what the radiation looks like. Oh, yeah, there we go. But this time, it's not. Huh. All right, so for my third rocket here, I don't have a gas cargo canister, so I can't use the oxygen system as I would like because I'd like to take this large cargo bay with me. So what I'm going to do inside of here is we're going to use the canister emptier. We're just going to pressurize the, the, the all of it. And then technically, I should be able to take that oxygen and possibly put it inside of the Atmos suit dock. Something like that. All right, so now I'm going to put Striker in this last rocket here. We're going to send it out. And we're going to see if we can mine up some stuff. See if I can make use of that drill cone. Ooh, buddy. Look at all that radiation. Nice. All right, so his goal is to fly out here to this ore field. And it's going to pick up a bunch of sandstone, sand, algae, and copper. And try to bring it back. Cargo capacity remaining is 27 tons. Oh, here's another thing. You know how this system got jammed up when I was trying to run the oxygen through it? So by restricting the amount of oxygen that can actually go inside of it, then I think I have a little additional capacity for the other gases that might find their way in. Oh, there we go. The rocket has now made its way to the sandy ore field, and it's using its little grabber arm to start to mine that up. Awesome. So I should be able to look at the rocket. Yes, you can see it's now drilling. And I have 980 kilograms of diamond left. So that is consumed while bringing things into the cargo bay. So as you can imagine, it's going to be out there for a while. So that way, I don't have to actually have a duplicate inside of here with the plumbing skill in order to empty out 
canisters of oxygen and, and stuff like that. All right, so I'm gonna send Lerda out on another trip here, just to kind of go visit some planets while we're waiting. And uh, this thing is now filled up completely, meaning that it has a total range of 24 tiles. I did strip it down a little bit, uh, removing the other solar panels here, but we'll see how this goes. And we'll see if Lerda can do this without the Atmo suit. Ah, oh, these dupes. I put this thing in here, said sweep only. What did they do? They find everything from everywhere and put it inside of this rocket. Oh, because I had it set to allow manual use. Darn it. I said that to a priority of level one. Come back in here, sweep this up. These dupes, I tell you what. All right, so for my rocket, I went to the Sandy Ore Field. That is now complete, so all it needs to do is bring its cargo back. And check this out. New planetoid detected. Ooh. So if I go to this and I click oversee planet, nice. We can see that there's a little planet down here. Which means I might have activated everything here. Possibly lagging out my game a little bit more. However, I think this right here is something that's quite important that we'll need to visit. So I'm glad that I found that. Well, let's go ahead and visit this thing over here. I doubt that's a planetoid, so maybe it's another spot like this. Ooh, a destroyed satellite. Inspect. Hmm. Find noteworthy data hidden amongst the system files of this space junk. New database entry unlocked. I've yet to read all those. I have read some of them, though. Remaining range, 19. Okay, I think I can go all the way over here. You don't get to come back, Lerda. Sorry. All right, so while my rockets are away doing the things that they do, I decided to dig over here. Look at what I got going on. We've got gravity-defying eggshell, meat, and a vole egg. What? First off, dupes, you should definitely... Why aren't you sweeping up the meat? Oh, by the way, I made it all the way to the left side of the map. Only took 1,139 cycles. Yeah. Big map. Oh, hey, look at what's back. So this will be our first unload from space. Inside of here should be lots of goodies. Ooh, what do we have? What do we have? Oh, eight tons of sandstone. Four tons of algae. Two tons of copper ore. Six tons of sand. And if I go right on over here, this should just unload everything all the way down here and into there where it will be automatically sorted, which I didn't do right. <laughs> this is, <laughs> that's a liquid rocket port unloader. Don't worry about it. I think it was just a space holder. There we go. Holy moly, Lilu. You're the fastest dupe I've ever seen on... What is your speed? Athletics 32! Alright, watch this dupe. This is normal speed. <laughs> that, that's medium speed. It's gonna get hard to follow, but here's here's fast speed. Or as I like to call it. How you normally play the game. Lilo, you went right to bed. Oh boy, another planetoid detected. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're having a hard time. The frames aren't enough to keep up with you, Lilu. Okay, what do we got here? I think I'm going to avoid it. Sorry, um, Lerda, you don't ever get to come back. You still have food. You get like six. Oh, whatever. Let's click on the planet. There we are. Ooh, look, it's frosty. Very cold. Oh, no, Lilu. The pooper's clogged, and you're in deep space. Your stress is going to go up real quick here. Abandon. <laughs> Turn it around, Lerda. <laughs> if she destroys that door mid space, we're done for. No, no. Keep going. We don't stop. Yeah, so that's out of order. Um, 800 kilograms. That'll get you a compost pile. Sorry, I can't deconstruct enough stuff to get to a compost pile. You're just gonna have to hold it. Learn it. Oh yeah. By the way, we had this solid rocket port unloader. I can go ahead and click all. Now watch. 
Boom. Unloading everything. Just like that. How cool is that? So that will find its way right down here, get loaded into the sort of thingamabob, and it will come out the other end, wherever it needs to go. So sand is coming out, so I should see sand show up right there. Ha! That's pretty fancy. Ooh! Oily asteroid field. Look at this one. A little bit of carbon dioxide, methane, crude oil. Neat. You know, Lerda, since it's so close by, why don't you just head on over to this other question mark? You could just make a big loop on your way back. Wait for it. Oh, there it is. There it is. Mop it up, Lerda. Oh, no. First thing she does is get in the rocket thing. Is that hot pee? Why, was it, why are you saying it's hot? Whoa! Hot pee. I'm not convinced I need a bridge here. Let's get the wrong type of gas in there. It heads on over there. The pump picks it up. And it filters it out. Nice! Ha! How cool is that? It actually works. Although it's a lot more active now that we got polluted oxygen floating around. Whoa, man, there's a lot out. I don't know if you're ever going to make it back here, Lerda. Look at all that. Oh, a swampy ore field. Nice. Mud. Cobalt. Ooh. What do you think, Lerda? One more? I mean, you're right there. Look. Oh, my goodness. Look at all that. <laughs> we might be pushing the food a little bit. Here, let's, let's see what your food's like. Oh, you got 3,000 calories. That gives you an extra, extra two cycles. <laughs> You'll be okay. <laughs> oh, a chlorine cloud. Fancy. Okay, one more, one more. You'll be okay. Ooh, helium cloud. Oh, we don't get helium out of it. Well, that's disappointing. All right, visit this last one and then you fly right back. <laughs> Boy, oh boy, we're gonna cut it close. Lerda's getting a little angry here. I mean, that just means she's getting efficient. See? You're fine. You're fine. If I had to guess, this last one... I would think it would be a planet, but maybe not. Ooh, a gilded asteroid field. Sedimentary, gold, fullerene. Yes! That's what I was looking for right there. Mmm, baby. That's the good stuff. All right, Lerda, that means you can come back now. <laughs> and I sure hope you have enough fuel. So I have eight tiles that I need to travel and I have nine tiles remaining, so... Ha! Should be just about right. Rocket speed, two tiles per cycle. It's gonna take you a little while. Hopefully you have enough food. Looks like you're 3.9 cycles away from being there. So yeah, that should have worked out perfectly. Ha! Well, hopefully. We'll find out what you destroy here in about a cycle or two. So the thing about fullerene that is so awesome here is that it unlocks super coolant. And super coolant is pretty much cheat codes for endgame. <laughs> because it is just an incredibly powerful liquid. It just takes a little bit of petroleum, which I have lots of, and gold, which again I have, I think, unlimited amounts of, actually, which uh, gives me super coolant. And, as it turns out, I already have a rocket capable of going out there doing what I need to do, which is this one right there. That one with the drill cone. However, I think I have to wait for Lerda to navigate back so that I can actually travel out there without having to take the long way around. She's the one, because right now her rocket is the one equipped with the special navigating thing. Not only that, it might be worthwhile to actually run a petroleum engine or maybe even upgrade a little bit more to the hydrogen engine to go out there and come back a little bit faster. Of course, none of that matters here until Lerda gets back. Come on, Lerda. You can make it. Only another three cycles. Hey, guess who made it back? Lerda. Congratulations. <laughs> right in. Borrow the pooper. Jeez. All right, so at this point, I'm just fueling up uh, my next rocket that's actually going to go all the way out here just to visit this gilded asteroid field and actually mine it up for some of that fullerene right there. 
but it's gonna take a little bit for me to get enough power in there. So that is the next step. And as it turns out, I think that's actually going to be a more efficient way to get all the way out there as compared to using the petroleum engine because that actually seems to slow down quite a bit once you stack the whole rocket up. So maybe it's hydrogen or nothing. Or in this case, maybe liquid oxygen would just be a better. But yeah, as we can see, the rockets are up and running and they're flying around and visiting a lot of interesting places. But at any rate, that's all I got time for today. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed this little episode here of Oxygen Not Included. Stay awesome, guys. Peace. Brothgar out.